Hi sisters! <laughs> Welcome back to Jollof Fries and Two Potatoes. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me just look at my face. It's okay. I swear I love on your I'm not high five. <laughs> <laughs> channel it's a girl with Kila Yo can you introduce yourself please no. I love it <laughs> uh, my name is Sarah and I like to eat jalaw yay I would give my life for jalaw <laughs> let's talk about jobs in Dubai generally because right, right now Sarah is um yes <laughs> so this is like the most impromptu video that I have ever made and I have this very serious distraction <laughs> beside me and <laughs> she's not letting me make the video <laughs> as you can see oh, okay. sit up straight yes my mom says you should why are you shouting? <laughs> okay so this is like the most impromptu video that I have made and Sarah just stopped by to eat some jollof and we decided to make a video about Switching to entrepreneurship, like having side a side also, <laughs> having a side <laughs> also. <laughs> so we just we just decided to make a video about having a side also in Dubai. Cause Sarah here is an entrepreneur, and she's really doing well at it. So I wanted her to like tell us how she came up with this side also idea, how she decided to do this business, and how it is going while she eats jollof rice by the way i initiated her into the jollof world she didn't know what jollof rice was until she met me so yes you are my first black friend you say black friend oh it's okay it's not racist okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm a first black I'm friend right. and i made her eat jollof rice can we eat she doesn't like her so. <laughs> okay. Tell us about your site also. What's your site also? What are you doing? So I... Am no, that's not your voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not your voice. Uh, I have a pet sitting business. It's just me, so does it count as a business? Yeah, oh by the way, can I just say that I don't like pets? <laughs> you like noodles. Pets touching me. Yeah, I like to see... cat. Yeah, I like to see Nudu, but I don't want Nudu to come close to me. I don't know if that makes sense. Insert picture of Nudu. <laughs> yeah, so it's pet sitting. It's cat sitting, dog sitting, dog walking. That's all I do. Right, so how- Not grooming. Not grooming? I don't even know what grooming is. It's like when you um, cut hair and like- oh, Okay, you don't do that. That's like, I can bathe them. It's like nursing cuts, right? Nursing? <laughs> I can bathe them and I can give medicine to them. Okay. Cut their nails. You can prescribe I medicine. I can't prescribe it, but I can give whatever they're okay. prescribed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Open. <laughs> okay. No, it's much common. <laughs> and how, how do you get your clients? Instagram. A lot of Instagram and word of mouth. It's very new. My Instagram is very new. It's my Instagram. Mainly through Instagram. I paid maybe like. For sponsorship? Yeah, so it was a total of like 130 dirhams for a month. Not a month, but it's like that I ran ads. Ah, okay. And I could see the turnover. I had a lovely month. So that's a point for you guys. One ads on Instagram. <laughs> oh, the Instagram is new. Um, but I have been in Pet City. Okay, like, before that. Okay. Two, three years, and then someone told me like, why don't you like charge people money for it? Because I was doing it for free. Mm -hmm. Or like petrol reimbursement. So I was like, you know, you can get paid quite a lot. And I was like, yeah, but I don't do it for the money. How long have you been uh, a pet city? Like, full time? Full like, time? A month and a half? A month and a half? And yeah. do you have like any regrets? Like, for this It's time? like, I don't know. So what's your Animals! <laughs> okay. 
And is it paying you as much as you expected? I know it's like your first month, so you're not like balling in. Actually, I feel yeah. like I was balling. <laughs> Because it's also mentally helpful, like right. <laughs> tell us, tell us about the mental part, like mental. Yeah, meant like you get like the love of the, some someone else. Like my cats love me. Yeah, they're supposed to, right? Mm-hmm. This is someone else's cat, and they love me as well. Yeah. So it and makes you sorry. So it makes you feel like sane. Yeah, and like it, it like calms you, and you know, like taking dog walks, like outside. It's nice. It's like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> do you think that this is something you can do with, like, for example, if you have a full time job with a company or you're a freelancer, is this something you can do on the side? Like, we're talking about the side also aspect because not everybody wants to just quit their jobs and start doing the entrepreneurship with the fact that you have to, like, <laughs> with the fact that you have to, like, uh, you know, get visa and all of that. So, yeah, do you think it's something you can? Side also is something you can do in Dubai. Like, I think you could. Yeah. Yeah. I managed it mm-hmm. pretty well. But you have to be organized. Like, mm-hmm. Sort your such yourself. So h- how do you organize yourself? Speaking of organization, because the Sarah that I know <laughs> is not exactly a very organized person. So I wonder how she is like <laughs> able to manage uh, this side also. Like how do you plan yourself? Your calendar. How do you ensure that you don't have like Double booking. Over, yeah, double I did booking. that one. Like, oh my god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> triple booking. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I somehow like managed to give time. But it's great if you have a car. Yeah, she has a car by the way, so that's a good point. I look at the map and I'm like, okay, so if I leave this place by 8:52, I can get to that place by 9:20. Okay, so it's like annoying, but and that's how because I'm not organized. The triple booking. What application do you use to organize yourself? Like, do you have an app or you just use your normal calendar? I use Google Calendar. Okay. And Google Sheet. Okay. Why yes. I pick those over Excel sheets? Because I can edit them. Ah, uh, yeah. On your phone. phone and then my okay. laptop. When I have time, I'll like do a laptop and I'll be like, um, okay, this guy paid this, and then supposed to pay this. This is remaining. Okay. And on my phone, if I receive what's good. Generally, you love pet sitting, yeah. Mm-hmm. And do you think that is something people should consider? I mean, not not really Don't pet sitting. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no. And that's what I'm about to say. Like, not really pet sitting because not everybody likes pet sitting. But I feel like there are so many jobs you can do inside also. You need the mentality, mm-hmm. and you need the kind of yeah. I can still focus on both, and you mm-hmm. can't let. You're, if you start, some, some people they start like a side hustle, and then they'll be too overworked or maybe a main they'll job. They'll have right? too much pressure from their main job. Yeah, I think that's me. Yeah, because my story is I decided to do like this. Um, I bought a sewing machine and I decided to do like um, the tailoring. Yeah, <laughs> I decided to like alter people's clothes. And you know, I, ha- I made this flyer that I was supposed to like, distribute to the people in my building. And for some reason, I never got to distribute this flyer because I was always too tired from my main job. So I think it has to do with finding yourself. Like if this is really what you want to do, you have to like make out time like, okay, on this day, this is what I need to do. I need to make a YouTube video. I need to go and drop some flyers on some people's doorstep. I need to place an ad on Instagram. Like just have to plan yourself. Like there's always enough time if you're able to plan yourself properly. Then and you really need a side also need to buy because except you're like a general manager somewhere. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think you would make it. Unless enough. you're rich. Yeah, exactly because it's if, expensive. Yeah. Right? And if you want to like actually be financially free, like my goal is to retire by the time I'm 40. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like retire meaning not stop working, mm-hmm. but just stop worrying about where my money is money, coming yeah, from. Exactly. Like have a company. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to be financially free, yeah. someday. Mm-hmm. Or retire early someday. Then it's just easy. It's easy to say, but it's, it's more hard to actually get organized. There are nights or days where you don't eat. Yeah. You don't sleep much. <clears throat> like, it's 
Oh, but it's all about planning yourself and knowing what you want for the future, like what's your long term goal, what's your short term goal. If your long term goal is to be financially free, like uh, Sarah said, then you would decide to work now. So yeah. use this time to do as much work as you can, save as much money as you can, and plan for the future. Yeah, right. And I see a lot of people doing it. People are like hustling. You are, you're also respected a bit more if you have your shit together. Yes, kind of. absolutely. <laughs> Rather than Who someone who you. work nine to five and then they'll like you complain know, that they have yeah. one day off. Yeah, yeah, da, da, da. yeah. And I think this is something people are used to hearing. But people are always complaining, oh, I have one day off, yeah. or I'm working nine to five, I'm working long hours, I don't have time for myself. But you realize that you actually do have time. Like when you're off, what do you do? Nothing. You're just like you so pressing your phone or sleeping or something. And for me, I don't know about other people, but when I don't do anything all day, I feel really useless. Like I just wasted 24 hours doing nothing. So I'm more fulfilled when I do something, when I shoot a YouTube video, when I make some people's clothes, or you know, it feels fulfilling. Yeah, make food for Sarah to come have some. <laughs> it feels fulfilling. So if this is something you would like to do as well. You can consider side also. It's actually really good, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you wanted to start a side hustle, you would be in the right mindset. Yes. And like the like you're gonna probably do some money in the beginning. You know, you won't make profit for a while. Yeah. Because you're spending money moving around, moving around, and ads. Yeah. And if you want to get somewhere else, you pay them to. Also, you need to know that if you are going to switch to a side also, it's not something that you're going to make profit from immediately. So, if you're like really, really broke, I don't think this is a good <laughs> thing for you to switch to because what you need to look for is a proper job that will pay you salary first. Because if you're switching to side also then you already you need to have capital right no matter how kind of. no matter how small if it's like a service then you don't need it necessarily right. you don't need to have like the babysitting or the pet sitting you know? but you but you still need money but you for need, yourself yeah for your rent for yeah. your feeding because pet sitting wouldn't give you that money immediately yeah right? no, it takes time, need, yeah right so and you need to actually build a time base like i was a bit lucky because I knew people mm -hmm. and in the beginning it was all like word of mouth and then I started the Instagram like a month and a half ago I still have like a hundred something followers so you guys subscribe to our pet city channel what's your under? it's called paw figures these are pictures of my cat <laughs> <laughs> think about your own idea think about what you like to do and just do it I would say but find something that's a problem yeah, there was a Yes, I think that's like we learned that in sales training. <laughs> right? So just find a problem and give people a solution. A solution to it. Ta da! So like pet sitting, why pet sitting is better than pet boarding or yeah. not saying that pet boarding is bad, mm -hmm. but it's just like more comfortable for the pet because they're in their own house, they're in their own environment. Yeah. And there's only like well in my case only one person going. So they kind of know the face, they know the smell. Yes. Even though I smell a different cat and dog. <laughs> that makes sense. And I think oh that that's what I did when I chose um, altering those clothes as well. Because in this part of the world, people are not like wearing Ankara, like the way they do in Nigeria, where you have to make a full outfit. People shop online here. But most of the time, they don't buy their sizes. Or maybe yeah. it's too long, or too short, too, too short, tight, too tight, too loose. Too so these are like, Things that you can find solutions, and that's why I decided to start altering people. Um, so you can also think about the problem, and then you can find solutions. Just do it and market it. Yeah, ma that's you that's can it. Because it. it's one thing to have an idea; it's another thing to actually put it out there. Because if you do not put it out there, then nobody's going to patronize you, right? So you need to. I think I actually got an idea from this video as well. <laughs> I would also do. And add on your for my own Yeah, you should. Yeah, I would also Very do that cheap. as well. Yeah, so I hope you also got something from this video. I don't know because we are just like two crackheads talking. <laughs> we just everywhere. The next video should be ice cream. You should try vegan ice cream. Jesus, did you have to beat me? <laughs> what?
<laughs> you should, I should make you try like different types of vegan ice cream. Okay, we should do that. Oh, that's sick. We have to be rich to buy. You keep beating me. <laughs> I told Sarah that Ninja Jalof is the best Jalof. And this is not like the argument you are, because we don't want to sound like we are shaming anyone. It will be fine. But, <laughs> but, but Ninja Jalof is the best, and she really loves it, right, Sarah? Yes, but I haven't tried the gum yet, so I'm not saying. Okay, so I think we should make another video where we have like Ninja Jalof. Oh, you make me try both. And Jalof. And we'll have both food, and you try, and we'll do a review, right? Yeah, we can do that. Alright, so but I like um, Africana Jalof. That's the only other place ah, that yes. I tried outside. Can yeah. I mention? Yeah, of course, it's okay. So uh, there's this place we buy Nigerian food from. In case you want to buy Nigerian food, it's called Africana Restaurant. I think you said they're on Talabas, right? Yeah, they're on Talabas, but you can't just order the Jalof. You have to pick like a chicken or a meat. Ah, uh, yeah, true. So, yeah. So and you have to like call them and then try to explain to them. And yes. Then, I don't speak Nigerian. Sorry. <laughs> Can you say Auna de? What the day? Auna de. Auna de. We have to say Aw you in Shimu. Kuhumada. 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 My she has had subscribers. Kuhumada. Thank you for coming. It's my house. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Now leave me alone so I can eat my ice cream. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, we wave. Yeah. <laughs>